All right, and welcome to a new season of Friday Night Lights. We are Learn TV. We are here at Buford High School. We are hosting our first game. It's actually week zero this week, watching the first game of the season. The SC Spartans are taking on the Buford Yellow Jackets. Um, should be a pretty good game last year. The, the Yellow Jackets beat the Spartans 49 to nothing. Well, that was a barn burner. Yeah, so... Uh, Looking to have another good game to start off the season on the right note tonight. As I said, we are at Buford Stadium. Um, other games going on tonight in the county. Lancaster is at Chester. Indiana is hosting York. And Andrew Jackson is idled this week. They start off the season next week. So this should be a really good game. Um, Buford is in year two of head coach Joe Watson. Last year they finished one and nine. And looking for a big jump this year. They got a much more um, seasoned team. Um, they have two years now. This is yeah. This under, is an under the belt. Yeah, that you can win as a head coach. So seeing the one and nine record is not something that bothers yeah, me yeah, from a fan's perspective. I think that it's just sort of a transition period last year. But I think we should see a much more competitive team from both what we see on the field and in wins and losses. And one, the, one of the mottos for this Buford team this year is pull the rope. They they want everybody as in tug of war. They want them pulling that rope together. It's one unit. Um, they all working together to for that common goal. A couple people to look out for, especially this year. Um, senior uh, Amos, um, uh, he's he's hurt this year. My brain just went. Uh, <laughs> it's week zero for us too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, he he's their running back, Antonio Amos. Wow. Um, He's, he was a great player for him last year, missed a couple games, and still um, very exciting to watch there in the backfield. Um, he is back this year. Probably not going to play today. Um, they're going to hold him out. He's been injured. I think this is a game that they feel like they can get a lot of other guys' experience and mm -hmm. can uh, uh, throw him into the action next week. Um, so, But he's one for Buford that you really got to look out for um, this year. I and think it's gonna, we're going to matter a lot on the quarterback play, obviously, the team's going to go as the quarterback play drives them. They usually have a pretty serviceable running back and running game, kind of plug and play the old Denver Bronco way. But if they can get a good quarterback back here to make smart decisions and help distribute the ball around, it could be even more dangerous. And one of the things they always do, we always talk about it every year, is like this Buford team is – not usually as big as the other teams, mm -hmm. but they have more fight than the other teams. They're oh, yeah. always working really hard. They're always, you know, running for that extra yard, really turning those feet. So uh, we look for, for that to happen again um, this year, although they might be bigger than this team. I was going to say that from a size <laughs> perspective, not just this week, but from what you normally see from a, a smaller, you know, a smaller school in Buford, yeah. they actually have some pretty big kids in terms of size. I see some larger lineman size that can hold that line of scrimmage for them. So if they can get some bigger fellows on the O-line, look out now. So Buford is going to kick, going to start off on defense, let the Spartans uh, have the ball first. Beautiful day. Starting to feel like football weather again. The temperature yes. is a little bit lower. Just um, that little, little dip in the air. Almost could wear a sweatshirt today. Almost. Almost. So number 33, looks like he's going to kick. That's Christian Griffin. Overall, this is a fairly young team, would you say? So the uh, I, I've watched in the NFL, they have a new kickoff rule. How long do you think before that starts trickling down into uh, the college game and then maybe even to the high school game to try to eliminate some of the high impact? I think it should be doing, done sooner than later, you know, especially safety stuff that's done for that precaution and not for other reasons. But you think that would make it way faster. But the onside kick, I guess, is such a big thing still in the, the high school True. game as opposed True. to the... Yeah, I, that, this ball's fair point. point. Taken at the seven. Um, decent return out past the 20, down to about the 23-yard line. And this Buford defense trots out. 
And that, and it's going to be interesting because you know all their kind of big name guys that we knew of mm -hmm. are no longer here. So next you know, man up. It, it, it's going to be next man up, and it's going to be a, a learning curve for a lot of these guys. Um, I think they're still pretty pretty good in the trenches. Um, which is going to help their running game and help everything else going off in that situation. Um, but but the linebackers and the skilled guys that we used to know pretty well and see Aaron um, Morris and oh yeah um, Mar Mason Deese, those guys have graduated and moved on. Moved on to bigger and brighter things. So first play, running play, big guy. He's going to get taken down, pick up of maybe half a yard. He fought, fought his way there through two or three yards of loss uh, to get close to the line of scrimmage. That looks to be number 99. I'm not going to try to say his name because I don't think I can do it justice. Nijai, I think, is his last name. Yeah, I mean, that was a good, good stab at it. I think I could, I could see that, yeah. Nige, maybe, if, if, if I'm going to try to say it poorly. That's a big boy back there running back there. Yeah. Goodness. I think their uh, main running back is out this week. Not a good week to be out. Looking to pass, and not much going. Quarterback's going to run. He's got a little bit of space, but goes down. Picks up about five yards. It's going to make third down a little bit more manageable. Yeah, a little happy feet there in the middle of the field. They're going to see what happens with those types of plays. I have a feeling that we're going to get some pressure on the quarterback and see what he's able to do back there. So ball sitting at about the 30-yard line. It's going to be a third down and five. Third down. Spartans in no hurry bringing uh, <laughs> the play in to the huddle. I mean, I believe they'll take as much time off the clock as they possibly can. In the shotgun. Jai in the backfield. God, he looks like a defensive end, man. He, he might be. <laughs> they throw it down the middle. That ball's tipped up. Oh. And, ooh, almost intercepted in and out of the hands of number 24, Carter Alston. Yeah, well, you, you've got to get those uh, in, in a game where you're sure that yards are going to be a premium for them. You've got to get those catches, especially when it hits your hands. Number three back to kick. That's Braden Phillips. Number three on the front. The ghost of Braden Phillips. Uh, good, punt. good punt. Taken by Cole Carnes at about the 33. Makes a couple people miss. Almost lost the ball, but he's still on his feet. Gets down to about the 46 yard line. Good return. Yeah, good little broken tackle there, but you got to keep the ball tucked away. First game of the season. I'm sure we're going to have some mistakes at some point, but and that's usually something we see. We'll see a little bit more penalty flags early mm -hmm. in the season. Usually, players get tired and make some some mistakes that they might not normally make. Yeah, you can just be nervous too. Some of these guys might be starting their first game. Number four back there, Noah Crump. Saw him last year at quarterback. In the shotgun gives it to the first man through. That's Traven Roberts. Good run, about nine yards on the carry. It's so important in this offense that he does those reads well and is able to, you know, fake his way through it or going to give himself some pressure throwing the ball. Speaking of Braden Phillips from Buford on the coaching staff this year. Oh, he is? I know I saw him the other day. This is kept by Crump. Good. Hang on to that one. The right time is going to get forward for a first down. Moving the chains. Ball to about the 41-yard line into Spartan territory. Four seating in air. First down for the Yellow Jackets.
first down and 10 for Buford. Crump in the shotgun. Got, still got Roberts back there. Roberts Gives that ball up the middle. middle. Roberts, again, with a good carry pick of about seven. They're going to have to keep their eyes on that running back. He's going to get lost seven back there behind those 70. big offensive linemen. That'll bring up second down and four. And I know it's early, but there's some, some running lanes in there that mm -hmm. those offensive linemen are creating for them. Especially they start adding those wrinkles of the quarterback pulling it out and running himself or pulling it out and throwing it. And those lanes can get a little bit bigger. They're definitely going to want to keep their gaps. Crump takes the snap. He's looking to pass on this one down the middle. Can't find anything. He waits. Good throw. Does a great job. Biden his time. Gets that ball completed to Hawk Wilson, junior wide receiver. Beautiful name for a wide receiver or a DB. Hawk Wilson. Replay here. Here's another look at that one. I like how he stepped up in the pocket, took his time, and then able to pick a good little throw out there. Yep. Felt a little bit of pressure, mm -hmm. but didn't panic and yep. uh, found his receiver. Keeping his eyes down the field is going to be the big key here. He wants to progress in his throwing. Buford staying in the shotgun. You can see a lot of that. And they give it to Roberts again up the middle. And he's just following linemen. And looks like he's going to pick up another first down inside the five-yard line. We're going to have a first and goal. And Woody Hayes would be happy here. Here's another look at that last play. Three yards in a cloud of dust. And again, that center got out there. I'm not sure it's center number 75, it looks like. Great blocking. True Keep Carnes. Look for the, the shoes, man. The bright green shoes. They give it again right up the middle, and he's going to go down, taken down right at the one. Yeah, good, good hit there. Does some stop in it. Talking about number 77, Carter Cook. Side and goal. You're Buford, you definitely don't want mistakes or field goals here. You want to get six for sure out of this first drive. And Crump's going to keep this one, and he barrels into the end zone. Buford takes an early lead. Yeah, very efficient first drive there. Made it look kind of easy. Working hard this summer. Here's another look at that touchdown. And Crump, who's not a little guy himself, just no. follows <laughs> those linemen. Good double team up front by the, the right guard in the center. Yep. Christian Griffin on to attempt the extra point. Be interesting to see how many times they call his number to run the ball tonight. Kick is up, plenty of distance. Kick is up and is good. We take this time to shout out our under, underwriters, Kershaw House of Pizza, Williams Electrical, the City of Lancaster, Founders Federal Credit Union, Comporium Communications, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. I got a couple new ones this year. Just a reminder, Kershaw House of Pizza, K-Hop is locally owned, a full service restaurant in Kershaw since 1988. They've had daily, they have daily deals for lunch and have an updated menu, check that out. For more details, check out their Facebook page. And when you're in Kershaw, make sure you check out K-Hop. Mm -mm, good. They fed our crew tonight, so yes, a special did. thank you to um, Alan and Christina Sims and the K-Hop crew. Stuffing my face with a piece of that ham and cheese just a minute ago. Still lots of time here in the first quarter, 6.30 to go. Buford. Usually Buford's a team that likes to run the clock out themselves and play a slower game. But if they can score that in the plenty, I think mm -hmm. they're going to. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, they're they're going to want to get everybody involved today, kick the season off well, and get people experience. Like you said, they lost some of those players that have played for a long time, and now so they got some, some shoes to fill. Here's the kick. This ball is going to bounce, and it's going to roll out of bounds at the two, which is going to give the Spartans a pretty good field position. Nice heads-up play by number 18 to let it roll out. Spartan will 
take over a uh, first down from the 35. As soon as we get some updates on some of the other games around the county, we will uh, let you know. That Lancaster-Chester game should be pretty good. I think Lancaster starting the year ranked 10th in 4A, and Chester ranked number one, I believe. I'm not so. sure about the Chester rank, but I think some of that momentum for the Bruins is carrying into the season. And yeah. for the first time in a few years, it seems to be pretty uh, pretty bright and, and uh, looking looking good over there. Indian land, their first game as a 5A school. Big catch by number 99, good tackle. Yeah, it wasn't the cleanest catch, but he got it done nonetheless. Marvin Randolph with the tackle, number three for Buford. Brings up a second down and seven. Spartans looking to throw. They got a man down there that almost picked off and almost completed. Yeah. Both guys right on the ball. Little battle there. Number seven, Cole Carnes on the coverage. Cole Carnes, number seven on the coverage. Got a little replay here. Quarterback seems to got a, a good strong arm there if he can get someone open downfield. Good, good coverage though. Yep. Would have been an excellent catch for either one of them. To Absolutely. Make. Brings up third down for the Spartans. Again, not in a hurry, running players in and out. It'll be interesting to watch how they rotate their players in and out. Tonight. You look across the sideline, there's like three or four guys sitting on the bench. Yeah, not a lot of depth on that team. Quarterback's looking to run on his own, and he's going to go down, pick up of a couple. It's going to bring up a fourth down. A lot of sideline to sideline run in there, but good tackle. They will move the ball a little bit there, but should bring on the punting unit. Looks like Cole Carnes going back again to return. Number three on the punt. Carnes back deep. Carnes going to let this one bounce. It takes a Buford bounce and about dies at it to 30, and it stays right there. Not a lot of movement on that one. Four thirty-nine. Yellow Jackets take over. And this is just how they drew this thing going up today. One of those new underwriters we have this year is Williams Electrical. They're your go-to for all your power needs. They provide electrical services to meet the unique needs of both residential and commercial clients. With a team of highly skilled electricians, they ensure the highest standards of safety and efficiency in every project they complete. Whether it's installing new wiring, upgrading electrical panels, or troubleshooting complex electrical issues, Williams Electrical is dedicated to delivering reliable solutions with exceptional customer service. Their commitment to excellence has made them a trusted name in the community when it comes to electrical services. Be sure to give them a call for all your power needs. We appreciate all those underwriters um, that we get every year. Help us to uh, keep the lights on, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Pays for all this wonderful equipment. First down and 10 for the Yellow Jackets from the 31.
Crump hands that off. Number three. Marvin Randolph with a nice little run there. Flag is thrown. That's probably why. <laughs> It's going to be a hold. The, yeah, the last thing you want to do against this team is kick yourself with penalties, holding penalties, false starts, things of that nature. So that will back him up, 10. Make this first down a little bit more tricky. First and 20. I'd say so. See what's up the old sleeve here. Crump brings, brings the team back to the line of scrimmage. We have some movement. Oh, there we go. That's another one. Ball start. Yeah. On that Buford team, it's going to back him up five more. That first down and 25. We knew we would see some penalties eventually. Just hope they don't come on back-to-back -back plays at the beginning of a drive. But now you went from decent field position to terrible field position. First of all, <laughs> taken all the way back to the 16-yard line. Crump throws the little wide receiver screen. And... Not much going. Looked like he maybe lost a couple yards. A good open field tackle there by 17. Wrapped him up. Nice form. Hawk Wilson on the catch. Yeah, again, I love that name. <laughs> That's a perfect name for a DB or a wide receiver. Brings up second down and 28. Second down and a lot. We like to say in the business. Do we? <laughs> I mean, I do because I don't say smart things. But maybe, maybe you're a little more erudite than I am. Crump again looking to pass. He's got a man. They throw it short. The ball's caught. He got the angle Wilson. and the edge too. And is he going to go? They're going to catch him. He's got a good angle. He's not going to get him. Touchdown. That's where attrition and stamina is going to bite you. As 13 had the, the speed to catch him, he just didn't have the stamina to keep up. Crosser, good catch there by Hawk Wilson. Yeah, There's your name. It's going to be an 86 yard touchdown, but there is a penalty flag on the play. Probably it's going to bring him back. After the catch, though, you'd think. And we do have an injured player here because he's up on his feet. That was 13 who made a, a valiant effort. I'll give it to him. A lot of guys would have gave up and stopped running at the 50, but he legged it all the way out and made a dive. So, unfortunately, it's a, a costly penalty after an 86-yard touchdown catch, but. Still get a first out of it, though, looks like. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a hold. Oh. It's going to be from the spot. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it was after the catch. So it's it's at least a little bit of a gain out of it, but man. So it's going to be now a second down and seven. Second and seven. I'll go with that. That sounds about right. Instead of second and 28, now we got a second and seven. Second and realistic. We got a timeout, I believe. Oh, they got player down. Coaches are on the field, though. Did they call a timeout? Why don't we mention our underwriters here? Give a shout out to our underwriters for the game tonight. It is Founders Federal Credit Union, City of Lancaster, Williams Electrical, Comporium Communications, Kershaw House of Pizza, and Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority. Also, the City of Lancaster, welcome to the Red Rose City with emphasis on arts and culture as well as a rich history. See Lancaster SC is dedicated to creating a destination for those seeking the enjoyment of small town charm and southern hospitality. See Lancaster wants to remind you to stop to shop local small businesses and check out their website or their Facebook page to see Lancaster's upcoming events. Big ups to all of them. So 3.09 here to go 
Still in the first quarter. A very weak zero first quarter, if you ask me. And we got a second down and seven, I believe, for Buford from the second down and 28. Touchdown, 85-yard touchdown with a hold. And Buford gets to stay on offense. The O'Gal cut him a little bit of slack because it wasn't a receiver doing the holding, but the offensive lineman wouldn't get the slack. They pitch it. Marvin Randolph takes <laughs> Randolph. The Ran through two fellas there. I like it. Ran out of bounds. Good, decent run. is going to bring up a third down in just a few. Yep, nothing, no frills to that play. The quick pitch. Get him on the short side of the field and get a few yards out of it. Third down and two for the Yellow Jackets. Ball sitting at the 39 yard line. Big third down here. Trump gives it. Randolph, takes the hand Randolph off, again the running over somebody is going to be enough for a first down. Moving the chains. And they, they, were, they had the play sniffed out. And man in the right spot, but he got run over again. 70 tried. First down. Wasn't the prettiest first down we've seen, but it's a first down nonetheless. Got a timeout on the other side. Again, going to mention some of these underwriters. Kershaw House of Pizza, Williams Electrical, the City of Lancaster, Founders Federal Credit Union, Comporium Communications, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. Founders Federal Credit Union is headquartered in Lancaster and is the largest credit union in the state of South Carolina. It was established in 1961, and as of June of 2023, it grown to 790 employees and over 250,000 members. In Comporium, you'll find all you need to be connected and entertained. They always are ready to offer you the latest in technology and superior customer service with a personal touch. They're invested in the communities that they serve. So you're treated like a neighbor and not a number. Hey, can you watch all that magical football on Saturday and Sunday without beautiful Comporium cable? That's right. Or stream it via the internet. That's right. I know I do. And uh, college football starts out this weekend, I it believe, too. Starts for some folks. For some folks. For some. A little week zero action going on there, too, I believe. Crump fakes it and stays on his feet, but yeah, he's still fighting, Trying but gonna, gonna get taken down. And that was 99 back there. Mr. Everything. Nige, how do we how do we pronounce his last name? I think that's how we decided. I, I really don't want to mispronounce your name, sir, because you're playing an excellent ball game. Nijai, maybe, Nijai. Suleiman Naj or Najai. Heck of a ball player, fella. York on top of Lang Indian land here early, 14 to seven. This ball pitched and again, big moves. Cole Carnes this time. He's gonna get into the end zone, great play. 64 yarder, no flags this time. <laughs> Check for the flag, yeah. Here's another look at that one. No hesitation little in his cut up the field. Pitch too. and good little cut back mm -hmm. there and showing the wheels. Yeah, heck of a play, man. He's got some, some speed on him there. Cole Carnes made a couple big plays already early in this game. Yeah, you wear number seven, you better be good with the ball. <laughs> Almost blocked that one. Very close. 109 here to go in the first quarter of action. 
mention our last little couple underwriters here. The Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority gives the highest priority to delivering natural gas supplies at the lowest possible cost to our customers in the most responsible and cost efficient means possible. And finally, another one of our new ones, the Town of Kershaw. The mission of the Town of Kershaw, the mayor and its council is to promote the quality of life for the residents in the Town of Kershaw in an economic, ethical, and congenial way. Check out their website and Facebook page for all upcoming events. I know we'll be out there for a couple parades later this year. And we'll be, uh, uh, as I said, Andrew Jackson here in two weeks. I don't know if I said that, but um, we're on TV now. next week. We are here at Buford this week. Next week we are at Indian Land, and so is Lancaster. So Lancaster, Indian Land next week, usually one of the last games of the year now that Indian Land has moved up to 5A. Rivalry game, baby. Um, it's a rivalry game in week two, so we're looking forward to that. And then in two weeks, we will be at Andrew Jackson, another rivalry game, Andrew Jackson, um, Indian Land traveling to mm -hmm. AJ. So that That's should be another one good too. one. Yep. I'm really excited to see Indian Land and Lancaster this year. See if uh, the old Bruins can uh, get some of that juice back. Also, this week on Tuesday, on you can catch the uh, Lancaster Buford volleyball game here on Ooh. YouTube. Oh, knocked the taste out of his mouth. Yeah, he didn't want to get up from that one. I think that's called stage fright. <laughs> no, I think he got hit <laughs> yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, I felt that one in my mouth. Number six, Trevin, Trevin Roberts with the hit. Yeah, 18, he's been out there legging it. He's been playing hard. And that was number six, wasn't it? That did the hit? That was Trayvon yeah. Roberts, yeah. That's what I just said. That's what I thought. <laughs> I, I just saw those green shoes, man. You see a blur of green on the field. He's at the perfect height, too, and he hits you. It's going to go right in your solar place. It's going to hurt. It's going to knock the air out of your lungs and the taste out of your mouth. Good luck uh, to uh, one, of our, one of our own who uh, graduated last year, our, our Student intern for the last couple years, Fletcher Armbrust, moves oh, yeah. out to uh, Wofford tomorrow to start his college career. Woot woot. Future president of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, I want my get out of jail free card, Fletcher. Still seeing to... Uh, yeah, you never know, man. You get popped and you think it's a, uh, you know, the wind knocked out of your lungs, but it's a broken rib or something. Not that it is, but it, it could you be. Just never know. Yeah, you never know. It can be hurt. All right. Well, we're gonna take a break here, and we'll be back with some high school football. Hey, Grant, what you doing at the bus depot? I gotta go someplace where I can get everything I love. Incident with one gig speeds, a home security system, a whole home DVR with thousands of shows on demand. Wait, all those things that you love, I know people right here who can get you all of it. Internet, TV, security, and phone. Get it all with Compori, your friendly neighborhood tech giant.
As you set your financial game plan, we'll be with you every play. Relax, you're with Founders. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus from HGTV, here with some tips on heating your home comfortably and responsibly, starting with your heating system. Even on the coldest days, nothing keeps your home warm and cozy like a high-efficiency, Energy Star qualified natural gas furnace. You can actually feel how warm the air is. And that's because a gas furnace delivers air that's up to 25 degrees warmer than the air from a heat pump. And you'll have warmer air inside and cleaner air outside. All right, and welcome back to high school football here on Learn TV. Um, good to see young man coming off the field under his own power, which is good. Yeah, he's got his pads off. I believe his name is Brendan Kirk. We don't have the updated roster for them. Wish him the best. Yeah, he's been playing his heart out. You know. Yeah. I said I was talking before the game, I respect anybody that plays on a football team that doesn't have the size and numbers because playing both ways for 60 minutes on the football field it's a lot. is not fun. That's yeah, a lot. Especially when you're getting knocked around at times. It can be, it can be a little demoralizing, so... Big props to that young man there. So the Spartans take over. First and 10 from the 15. Colin Davis, quarterback back there. Looking to throw. Got a man down the middle, and it's caught. Still running. Big number play. three, that's Braden Phillips. Yeah. Good step up, good throw, tucked it in there. And I like the catch for number three as well. Yeah, he went up and got it. Mm -hmm. Here's another look at this one. Caught it in stride, too. Some people just look. The quarterback hit that back foot and just let it ride. Yeah, and he has good, good form on his throw, good form on the catch. First and 10, do it again. Moves the ball to the 42-yard line for the Spartans. Looks like we have one more play maybe here before the end of the first quarter. So if, you're, if you're the Spartans, you can get a score here and it's right back in the ball game. Especially that'll help. Offsides on the Yellow Jackets. That's their third penalty early. That's something, you know, yeah, you see early on, but too. still the coaches aren't going to be happy about about those. Yeah, it's a silly one, too. Makes it first and five. That's where a quarterback with a good cadence can be just a nightmare. Got another flag. Spartans this time. And I believe they'll run that off and it should. Will they have to run more one more play or is that the end of the first quarter? Offside against the Spartans. I don't, can, can the quarter end on a penalty? I'm not sure that it can. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good question. All these sports think, rules blur together from I, th I think the officials are asking the same question. Yeah. I think they have to run a play. Okay. Yeah, so they got to run one play. Last play of the quarter, promise you, unless yeah. there's another, <laughs> another <Right>. penalty. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here for a while. <laughs> All right, so nope, I was wrong. That's the end of the first quarter. We'll Fair be back enough. for second quarter action. You're watching high school football right here on Learn TV. Hey, Grant, what you doing at the bus depot? I got to go someplace where I can get everything I love. Incident with one gig speeds. A home security system. A whole home DVR with thousands of shows on demand. Wait, all those things that you love? I know people right here who can get you all of it. 
internet, TV, security, and phone. Get it all with Compori, your friendly neighborhood tech giant. As you set your financial game plan, we'll be with you every play. Relax, you're with Founders. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus from HGTV, here with some tips on heating your home comfortably and responsibly, starting with your heating system. Even on the coldest days, nothing keeps your home warm and cozy like a high-efficiency, Energy Star qualified natural gas furnace. You can actually feel how warm the air is. And that's because a gas furnace delivers air that's up to 25 degrees warmer than the air from a heat pump. And you'll have warmer air inside and cleaner air outside. All right, welcome back for some second quarter action. Watching high school football right here on Learn TV. First and 10 for the Spartans. Ended that first quarter on a better form than they started it down the middle and that ball hits the official and bounces up but falls incomplete i've always wanted to do that playing football is being the referee with the ball <laughs> and I, I, he just got to live the dream and he did it accidentally or at least that's what he'll tell everybody that's okay brings up second down and ten Ball sitting at the 42. Had a little bit of success both running and throwing the ball. They just got to start putting it together now. And heavy rush. Way to get away from the rush and get out of bounds. I don't think he picked up any yards, but that was a, a good little job by Colin Davis. Yeah, a heck of a play there. Hunter Mills and Isaac Pracken involved in it as well. Just good to keep, keep your gap, run into the sidelines, and, and just wait till your help arrives, make a good team play. You know that the, you know, it's, it's easy to want to run downhill and, and make a big hit, but sometimes just staying in your lane is, is the best move. Brings up a third down. And 10. Big third down here for them. <laughs> Five wide. Davis rolling out to his left. He throws it deep. Nobody out there. Out out there. That ball's falling incomplete. Man. Yeah. Number Seems to have a lot of faith in number three. Yeah, Braden Phillips. And, uh, you know, giving the big fella an opportunity, but just overthrew him. He seemed to have a good arm, but no time to throw the football back there at all. Like none. Bring up fourth down. It doesn't help too when you're rolling your quarterback against their throwing arm. Should be Cole Carnes back there again, probably, to return. Yep. Good with the ball last time he had his hands on it. See if he can get another one in here. 
good kick. Another decent kick away from Carnes. Takes a, a bounce. Carnes picks it up. There is a penalty flag thrown. Carnes makes a couple guys miss. Cuts back again. There's and number three is down just doing everything 50. he can. There's three penalty flags that I can count. And, I, and they might have had more penalties, but they ran out of flags to throw. Patrick Parnell, number 50 on the tackle. That was, one of them was thrown before. Carnes even holding picked it up, holding. But if you're Buford, you're gonna decline that, aren't you? It's not on Buford. Oh, okay. I mean, it's against Buford. I just assumed they were gonna be holding on the, the punt itself. So they're already backing up Buford inside the 20 down to about the 17 yard line, or 18 yard line. yard line it looks like crump is that roberts up the middle roberts on the carry yep. gain of maybe four pick up of three or four yeah we had not seen him there the since that first second. touchdown drive uh with the ball in his hand really made a big hit on on a defense a drive or two ago Looking to throw, throws it to the outside, almost picked off. That was dangerous. Yeah. You've got to be better than that as a quarterback. You couldn't, could have gave uh, the Spartans a way back in this game with just one flick of the wrist there. I know it's tempting to force that thing in there, but live to fight another day. Brings up third down and six. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Crump again looking to throw. He's gonna roll out, run himself. And he's gonna pick up just about enough for a first down. Looks like it's right at the line. Yeah, the defense for the Spartans there was not fooled at all. And they had really good coverage across the board. Forced him to come out there and make a play. And fortunately for him, he was able to do so. For first down. Be just enough for a first down. Yeah, Crump with a, a good little run after there. Not bad from the big fella. Ball to 28. Crump gives it to Roberts. Roberts, Roberts cuts it to the outside. Good tackle. Oh, oh never mind. Breaks two tackles there. Yes, he did. Tough running, and it's going to be close to another first down, maybe just short. Depends on the spot here. Those guys with low centers of gravity are no joke to bring down. It's like a, trying to knock a bowling pin over with a rounded bottom. I think it's going to be just short. That's okay, they got another down. I'll hand it right back to him. Let him cook. Oh, faked it. Wide receiver, Carnes. He's gone. He's gone. I lied. Oh, he got pulled down from behind. I wonder how long they'll, uh, you asked me about a, a thing earlier in the game. I wonder how long they'll allow them to have horse collar tackles at this level before they re remove it. Here's another look at that little wide receiver screen. Good move by Crump, just run up that alley. He doesn't mess around, he just hits the hole, and I, I really like that. He, he grabbed him by the shoulder pad, so yeah. he didn't at least grab him by the, the yeah, collar. Yeah. But, but in, in terms of that it's play a, in general. They throw the flag in that in college, though, and in high school yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or college in the pros, excuse me. 
Crump again throwing that wide receiver screen Ooh. and tackled right away. Tackle. Good play, number 17 with the tackle. That's Kendrick Miller of the Spartans. I mean, they got some playmakers out there, that's for sure. They're fighting to stay in this thing. Lost the two for the Yellow Jackets. Sides. <laughs> oh man, Walt stops sides. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most like nonchalant offsides play I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'll be uh, stepping over here. So India Land good. picked up a safety in that York India Land matchup. India Land down right now, 14 to nine. Is York supposed to be any good this year? Uh, they're always decent, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we seem to run into them at Lancaster quite often. Crump on the keeper. Crump. Moving the chains. Moves them again. Yep. He not flashy with his legs, but the consistent. It's working. And using his size and length to get in there, get a couple extra yards. It's also a good little change of pace from uh, Roberts. I think we're going to get a timeout. We'll mention our underwriters. All right. Our underwriters are Founders Federal Credit Union, City of Lancaster, Williams Electrical, Comporium Communication, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. Also, Kershaw House of Pizza is locally owned full service restaurant in Kershaw since 1988. They have great daily deals for lunch and haven't updated their menu. For more details, check out their Facebook page. When you're in Kershaw, check out the Kershaw House of Pizza. Good look there at the uh, mini cheerleaders. Yep, 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 yep. And the regular cheerleaders. <laughs> some mini cheerleaders, some normal cheerleaders, and quite a few of them. Cheerleaders of the future. 6.39 to go here in the second quarter. Buford driving still on top 14 to nothing. And you're right that this this uh, SC Spartans team, they are they're playing hard. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're giving it all that they have. Making some plays. I mean, what did you say the score of this game was last year? 49 to nothing. 49 to nothing. I mean obviously we're not even at halftime yet, but still. This is a wide open game, especially if they can make a stop here and maybe get some points before halftime. Crump looking to throw. He's got a man out wide there. Open. Wide open touchdown. Good throw and catch. That's number eight, yep. Hawk Wilson. There's Hawk your guy. Wilson, yep. he, he had that one called back earlier, got him again. Great some playmakers on the outside, though. And great throw by Crump. That was a beautiful spiral. Well, if you're this, this cornerback, what are you doing? What Here's are you doing? Another look. He was on the slot. Maybe I don't know where he came from, but he didn't seem to be on either of them. Kind of in no man's land. There, you got to you got to get one of those. I mean, nobody was on him, but heck, will play nonetheless. Griffin on, the extra point. Griffin on for the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. Yellow Jackets on top, 21 to nothing. Still lots of time to go here in the first half. They didn't have save. So Buford looking good here so far with a, a little bit of run and pass. Um, mixing it up. Mixing it up, which is what they, they need to be able to do. So it's good to see here early on. Again, it's about having quarterback. the quarterback play there really drives this team. Sure. Because you need him to sort of facilitate and get the ball mixed around all these wonderful playmakers that you have. So you need a guy back there confident, smart, 
willing and able. So far, he seems to be up to the task. This SC Spartans team, as I said, I think I'm only counting two extra players right now on the sidelines. So they're out there with 13 playing hard. I saw a couple guys out there look to be hurt with just jerseys on too. Oh, Miller over the head, that's the second trouble. Kendrick Miller with the return. He's back out there it looks like. He got his pads back on. Mason Coffin on the tackle. Spartans taking over at the 20. Looks like we got another timeout. We'll take this time to uh, talk about another one of these underwriters. Shout out to Founders Federal Credit Union, the City of Lancaster, Comporium Communication, Kershaw House of Pizza, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. Also, Williams Electrical is your go-to for all your power needs. They provide electrical services to meet the unique needs of both residential and commercial clients. With a team of highly skilled electricians, they ensure the highest standards of safety and efficiency in every project they complete. Whether it's installing new wiring, upgrading electrical panels, or troubleshooting complex electrical issues, Williams Electrical is dedicated to delivering reliable solutions with exceptional customer service. Their commitment to excellence has made them a trusted name in the community when it comes to electrical services. Be sure to give them a call for all your power needs. Again, no uh, update on that Lancaster-Chester game. Haven't, uh, haven't gotten a score update on that one yet. There might not be anybody updating that score, unfortunately. But hopefully, we'll see something soon. So the Spartans will have the ball first in 20, 624 to go here in the second quarter. Colin Davis back there. And look at the throw. He lets it go. Oh, you just pull as he got in. hit. Yep. Still got to catch that young fella. Good little pass mm -hmm. right on the uh, receiver's hands, but just couldn't quite hang on to it. It's Jason Langley. Second down now and 10. Martin's got to get up some sort of a good big play here for them, get some uh, excitement going for their side here, especially before halftime. Davis in the shotgun, again looking to throw. He's trying to roll out. He's going to get taken down. Right into the, the defensive end there, rolled right into him. Again, that's the problem when you roll out on the opposite direction that your quarterback's throwing arm is, you're going to run into an option where he has to throw across his body, and it takes an extra second for that to happen. That's Colby Klimsack. He just got nope. one, that's Number for sure. 32, sorry, that's Weston Ganey. They won't Ganey another yard. Two over there. That was funny. <laughs> Just nobody laughed. I did. Oh. It doesn't count. Though. Third down and 20. Big play there by the defense. Home team fans are out in uh, quite a big crowd today for tonight's game as well. Opening night should be. I mean, there's good to be back watching football. Absolutely. I've been dying for it. Davis looking to throw, he lets it go. And that ball is picked off. Number three trying his hardest out there, but not much he can do. 
Cole Carnes making another play. A big time interception by the defense. Here's now another look really at this one. Putting their, their stamp on this ball game. Yeah, he didn't get any air under this one at all. 32 in his face again. Just kind of threw it up. Yeah. Maybe too much air under that one. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think he was able to step in his throw the way he wanted to. Because we've seen him overthrow that distance in tonight's game already. Give a shout out to our, another one of our sponsors here. Founders Federal Credit Union, City of Lancaster, Williams Electrical, Comporium Communication, Kershaw House of Pizza, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority in the town of Kershaw. Also, welcome to the Red Rose City with emphasis on arts and culture as well as rich history. See, Lancaster is dedicated to creating a destination for those seeking the enjoyment of small town charm and southern hospitality. See, Lancaster wants to remind you to shop local small businesses and check out their website or their Facebook page for See Lancaster's upcoming events. 5-10 to go. Buford going to take over at the 35-yard line. Great field position after the interception. And if Buford can get another touchdown. They're right on line to uh, put up 49 again this year. Potentially, yeah. Uh, I think they would need to get get, get a couple points here before halftime to be a field goal to stay on, on track. Crump still in the shotgun. Looks like he's got Roberts again back there with him. Get him one on one. throwing it deep. There's your three points. Now they're on track. That's Randolph, Marvin Randolph with the catch. Yep, big time, big time throw there. You and could see what they wanted to do just before the snap. Flag on the field. Flag on the play. We got a replay though. You see that we're just trying to crowd this side of the field and get him one-on-one. -on -one. He does a good job with mm -hmm. his body to hold yep. off the receiver, but it's not going to count. I was too busy watching the replay. Would they get him for? A hold. Of course they did. It's going to back him up 10. That's a that's a Big another one. that's the second time that they've had a, a touchdown called back on a hold. Yep. A big touchdown. First one was 60 or so some yards. This one was about 40, 30, 40. They pitch it out, number 10, that's Austin Crawford. And he's going to take him loss. for a loss. Yeah. So Ashton, Ashton Crawford. You just got to string them, you start stringing them together. Three Makes it second down, down and 21. Two receivers split out wide to the right, wing back on that side and one to the left. He's rolling out to that right side. He's going to run it himself. Cuts back. Oh, takes a big shot. Picks up about seven on the play. you got to be better than that as a quarterback and not take shots to your throwing arm. Last thing you want to do is, is injure that boy on a, you know, four or five yard run from leaning into a fella. I learned that watching Bull Durham. <laughs> Third down and 15. Three split out to the left this time, one to the right. They just need to pick out about half of this because I think they're at a part of the field. Ooh, they throw it short, and it's going to go incomplete. I'm going to say they were going to probably go for it on fourth down if they could pick up about half of it, and they're probably still well. If he would have thrown that when he first laid eyes on him, I think he would have got him, but he decided to roll out. It ended up costing him.
Fourth down and 15. Three thirteen to go here in the third, second quarter. Crump looking to his left. Got a man out there. Oh, had two guys right in the same spot. Both yep. of them were open and yep. missed both of them. Bring up a turnover on downs. SC Spartans will take over at the 40 yard line. Not sure about that one. We had both of them just. Yeah, but I'm just not sure about going for it on fourth in that situation. I know you're up by 21. Well, you're not going to kick a field goal, obviously. No. And and punting it, I mean, maybe you pin them down, but your defense has done a pretty good job so far. So. So I'm going to give the offense or the other team any, any rays of sunshine, any light. Yeah. Best field position to start off for the Spartans. Yep. Yep. Davis rolling off to his right. He's got his big guy out there, number 99. And good pickup. Looks like he's going to pick up 11 in a first down. Nice block on the outside by one of their receivers, too. Smart enough not to get a block in the back. Jai with a 11 yard pick up into Buford territory at the 49 yard line. Yep, a couple minutes left before halftime too. Spartans taking their time here. Yeah, not a lot of urgency from them. Nope. Davis looking there, he steps up, and he's going to run it and picks up a couple. He gets out of bounds, too, more importantly. Brings up a second down and eight. And Spartan's taking a long time in the huddle. Mm -hmm. Davis takes the snap, he fakes it, he's gonna run this one himself. He gets a couple more. Flag on the play. I mean, that was like a flag. design run from the get -go. Yeah, Oh yeah, I, it was a design run for sure. But you seem to be running an awful long way to get two yards. Face mask against the Ooh. Yellow Jackets. That's a big one, 15-yarder from the spot. And we know that number three has got a big leg. I wonder if he can kick field goals. That takes the ball to the 29-yard line with a minute 47. Mm -hmm. We still got two timeouts left. Excuse me, Lord. I can't read, y'all. Davis 
by himself in the backfield. Got five receivers. He's got a man, throws it out to his right, and oh, nearly intercepted, but yeah, I mean, Carnes again. again. Your, it seems like he's got in a mind where he wants to throw the ball before he snapped. If that's the case, you got to step into the ball, son. Yeah, he looked like he maybe did step into it. He just couldn't, yeah, didn't, get didn't the quite have off. enough. Which is weird because we've seen him throw it deeper down the field. just seems a little inconsistent. Brings up second down and 10, 141 to go. Spartans come to the line of scrimmage. Big number 99 still in the backfield with Davis. Davis looking to his right. He's got a man out there and that ball Picked. Intercepted by Carnes. Looked like they both went back and forth with it there for a second. I, I couldn't do exactly right. But Carnes ended up with it. Carnes had a heck of a ball game. We'll take a look at this again. They were fighting for it. It looked mm -hmm. like it went back and forth. It looked like Carnes had it to start, and then it rolled in dude's arms for a second, and Carnes ripped it right back out. Carnes has it there, and then. It did look like they both have it at one point. But Carnes started with it and ended with it, yep. so I think that's, that's where it's going to go. It. Interesting. 132, Buford with a big defensive play there because you're right, you don't want to let this Spartan team get mm -hmm. a touchdown right here because 21 to 7 looks much different than 21 to nothing. Oh, yeah, especially in the locker room. You can use 21 to 7 to motivate. Crump rolls out to his right. He's got plenty of time. A lot of throwing the plays tonight. From there. Normally we see a little bit more running the ball. And Wilson running strong all the way down to the 49-yard line. Maybe get a timeout by coach. You can see some of that fatigue starting to set in on these uh, Spartans. Maybe they're going to just down it here. Here they go. Clock's running, Crump's looking to throw. Again, steps up, rolling to his right again. And again, he's got a man. Hunter Mills with the catch. Yep. Down They're to rolling the now. 31. You might see a timeout here. Mention our underwriters. Get the last few in here before the Shout out to Founders Federal Credit Union, City of Lancaster, Williams Electrical, Comporium Communication, Kershaw House of Pizza, the Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. Also, Founders Federal Credit Union is headquartered in Lancaster and is the largest credit union in the state of South Carolina. It was established in 1961 and as of June 2023 has grown to 790 employees and over 250,000 members. I myself bank with Founders and they are the bee's knees. Got an update here. Chester on top of Lancaster, 12 to 8. Toe Bruin showing up. Indy Land and York still in a 14 9 game. York on top. Well, the Bruins have had trouble these last few seasons with our, their offensive uh, output early on in the season, so it's good to see them getting some points and sticking in a, a tough ball game. Crump in the shotgun. 57 seconds to go, looking to throw again. And he, he's hanging in there, still hanging in there. Finally has a man in the middle. Oh, that ball in and out, and good play by the defensive player. Carnes couldn't quite hang on to it. Yep. There is a flag down, though, on the far side of the field. You've got to think it's going to be holding in either offensive or defensive. Still waiting on the call and who it's against. Looks like it's against 
Buford if they're talking to uh, Spartans coach. Mm -hmm. Walking them back. Legal procedure against the Yellow Jackets. Legal First procedure. First down and 15. Run it back. 45.6 to go here in the first half. Crump's got three receivers to his left, one to his right. He's looking to his right. He's going to try to run it himself. Run straight ahead to the 30. On the keeper. Did a few seven, of them back. Seven. Now, though, we got the clock rolling here. We got a timeout. Timeout, Yellow Jackets. Comporium, find all you need to be connected and entertained. They're always ready to offer you the latest technology and superior customer service with a personal touch. They're invested in communities they serve, so you're treated like a neighbor, not a number. Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority gives the highest priority to delivering natural gas supplies at the lowest possible cost to our customers in the most responsible and cost-efficient means possible. And the Town of Kershaw. The, the mission of the Town of Kershaw Mayor and Council is to promote the quality of life for the residents of the town of Kershaw in an economical, ethical, and congenial way. Check out their website and Facebook page for upcoming events. Third, second down and nine. 30.4 seconds. No timeouts left for Buford. They want to get this down a little bit closer to the end zone. At least get a first down and stop the clock. And throw as he's hit. He's got a man out there and pass incomplete. 23 seconds. Yeah, three Good. was right in his grill there. Good job by Crump by uh, to get away, for, mm -hmm. get that pass away. Good little throw too with some yeah. pressure in front of him. Got it out and gave his receiver at least a chance to make a play. He's got a strong arm. It's just about taking the time to do your mechanics properly and put it in a spot where it needs to be. Two receivers split out to either side. I think we have some movement. Shocker. We've had a few of those tonight, haven't we? Again, they got to get a good little chunk of yardage here on this third down. They pitch it out to the running back, Roberts. And he's got a head of steam now. Robert here comes the flag. Laundry on the field, yep. ladies and gentlemen. Laundry on the field. Great little run by Roberts, but yeah, it's, he's not gonna, it's not going to do anything. He's tough to bring down. He really is. Low center of gravity, like a bowling ball. Good little run. He's just it, little it, green feet, man. Fortunately, it was an obvious hold. It was right at the mm -hmm. attack. Yep. You could see the jersey being tugged on. That one's always to uh, get by when you can see the jersey being pulled. Penalties offset, replay the down. All right, so penalties on either side. That's better than backing it up, Ten. It gives you another chance, but yeah. there's only 14 seconds left. So really, when I mean, you get down somewhere towards the middle of the field, we're going to get a, a, a timeout here. If you get down towards the middle of the field here, 
and you get a first down, the clock is stopped. You can clock the ball down and maybe get a chance for a field goal, but you got to pick up. You got to get down to at least the 20, I think, to give your yeah. any semblance of a I'm chance. Kind of wondering exactly what the, the goal is here. I'm not sure whether. I can't tell if they're trying to score a touchdown here, if they're just trying to run the clock out. It seems as though it changes. I think they were trying to score there with the passing game, mm -hmm. and then they they conceded like, all right, well, let's just run it on this last play and pick up some yards, <laughs> and Roberts did a great job <laughs> and got himself into the end zone, but with the offsetting penalties, yeah. you replay the down. Because they I, seem like I expected them to do a lot of running at the ball tonight, but I've you know they've been surprised me by doing a lot of passing, so it's been a slower... I think you're going to see him run the ball here again. And just head into the locker room up 21 to nothing. Let's see what they do. They got green feet in. Nope, they're throwing it. Just throw the ball, man. Got him. Uh, he was able to get to him somehow. And that's going to run out the clock. And we're going to go to half. Buford on top, 21 to nothing. We'll be back with some second half action. You're watching high school football right here on Learn TV. Hey, Grant, what you doing at the bus depot? I got to go someplace where I can get everything I love. Incident with one gig speeds. A home security system. A whole home DVR with thousands of shows on demand. Wait, all those things that you love? I know people right here who can get you all of it. Internet, TV, security, and phone. Get it all with Compori, your friendly neighborhood tech giant. As you set your financial game plan, we'll be with you every play. Relax, you're with Founders. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus from HGTV, here with some tips on heating your home comfortably and responsibly, starting with your heating system. Even on the coldest days, nothing keeps your home warm and cozy like a high-efficiency, Energy Star qualified natural gas furnace. You can actually feel how warm the air is. And that's because a gas furnace delivers air that's up to 25 degrees warmer than the air from a heat pump. And you'll have warmer air inside and cleaner air outside.
And welcome back to high school football right here on Learn TV. Ready for some second half action. Buford on top of the SC Spartans, 21 to nothing. Um, could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. I think for both teams have had their bright spots. We've seen even some good stuff offensively from uh, the Spartans, but it's been Buford's night tonight, and really they're kind of in control. But obviously up by three touchdowns is, is a is a good bit, but it's not an insurmountable lead. Yep. So you yep. still need to take care of your P's and Q's and move your way through week zero with a W. So Buford's going to get the ball here to start the second half. Takes about 15 yard line, fumbles it and picked <laughs> up. <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah, that's right. And it, 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 that's your guy, Hawk Wilson there. Hawk Wilson, little A.J. Hawk in him. Got to get that Ohio State reference in there. Right. Both number seven and number eight. I like the way that they really attack when they get the ball in their hands. They're not dancing around, cutting, jumping it back. They're going straight for the hole, trying to get some yards. So just inside Spartans territory, ball at the 49-yard line. Noah Crump pitches out to the outside to Roberts. Roberts, hard running, picks up about four. Kevin Roberts on the carry left side, picks up a gain of four. Second down and six. Take a snap. He fumbles that snap and still rolling around. Oh, and Crump finally there. falls on it. It's like it's going to be almost back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost half a yard, but brings yeah. up third down. Didn't lose too, too much on that. But I don't see a lot of sense of urgency on that uh, <laughs> line when the ball hit the ground. Normally, ball hits the ground, and those all offensive linemen are throwing their bodies around. But I don't think any of them knew yeah, that it had. It's true. Still got to have a sixth sense about it. Got to know it before it happens. If I can't. Lancaster still down from our last tell, 8 to 12. And Indian Land now on top of York, 16 to 14. There's a flag thrown here. Crump looking, rolling to his right, and completes that. Or not. Or, looks like he wasn't able to reel it in. I think he had it and was down, but. They're going to call him down? Yeah. Okay. But there is going to be a flag, flag. here. Had a few of those tonight. And it goes against Buford. A lot of those have gone against Buford, too. I know that's going to make the coaches a little bit unhappy. Yeah, well, in, in any game, even when you have early season games where you're, you know, expected to win, you need something for the whiteboard material to get your guys next week of practice. So even that being said, you can at least go in your practice and yell at them about these penalties. Yeah, and I mean, they really, they once they get going into the region and everything, these things will have to have been cleaned up, mm -hmm. and they will be. This is a good coaching staff. Yeah, but they should, they could easily have two or three more touchdowns at this point. We've Coach, seen a couple called back. Say Coach Watson does a really good job with his guys. Crump looking to throw on third down and 12. Down the middle, he's got a man. Oh, just a little bit overthrown by Cole Carnes. I think he was thinking a little bit too much about taking a big hit, reaching up like that. Yep. Heard, heard some footsteps. You're going to want to reel that one in, big fella. That bring up fourth down and the punting unit for Buford. Good first series by the defense. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> that three was very close. It was very close. <laughs> Almost got touched too. Took a good Buford bounce though down to about the 10 yard line just outside of it to the 11. Sloppy on both sides of the ball there. Yep. That ball was all, that punt was almost blocked, I think you said. Y yeah, yeah. And, and he ran into the kicker after the play and just didn't knock him over. If the Buford kicker had his wits about him, he could have fallen down and probably gotten rough in the kicker penalty. He hasn't taken drama class yet. Yeah, no, he's a freshman. Actually, I don't even know that. You just made that up. Yep, I made that up. <laughs> I don't see a kicker on here, but I'm not looking for the number. Number, number thir seven. 33. No, nope, never mind. Number 33. So he's a senior. I lied. He, he didn't take much of a hit. Chris Griffin. And the ball handed straight up to uh, big number 99, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He's had some success when he's gotten the ball in his hand. They just... Again, haven't been able to give it to him for sustained periods as he's out there playing defensive end and getting nice pressure on that, from that side of the ball as well. Again, they've got a number of players that play exceptionally well. Just got to get some depth out there. It's got to be really tough when you can't come off the field the entire game. So second down now and 11. to go here in the third quarter. Again, big number 99 running. And running strong, but not Nothing nowhere doing. to go. Yep. Doing a lot of sideline to sideline running and not a lot of north and south. So bring up third down and long for the Spartans. See if Davis is trying to throw. Yeah, a little deep in his, his own zone here, not a lot of room to maneuver. Yeah, be careful not to take a safety. He gets this one away and that ball is intercepted basically a punt and it's all boiled down nice play though by the db who is that number 21 24 21 something like that see here's a replay because he just can't quite get enough mustard 24 that's carter alston Great job. He did He's limping off the field. He did an Alston job. That didn't sound like awesome. Sorry. I'll be quiet now. Thank you. Everybody's happy now. Not everything sounds as good out loud as it does <laughs> in my head. First down, Yellow Jackets. Beeford offense takes over in Spartan territory at the 45 yard line. Didn't have, had their first punt of the night last series. See if they can get something going here. A good field position again. Crump gives it to the first man up the middle. Going for the ball. I've noticed that just about every time he gets a tackle where he's got the guy stood up, number three will go for the ball, which is a very smart play. Zadarius Spratt, freshman in there running. That's number 21. Picks up nine on the play. They give it to him again, He's trying to get to the outside, and he does just barely, just enough for a first down. Picks up four when it's all said and done. 99 with the stop there again from his defensive end position.
I mean, you got to be impressed with this defense. Sure. They've been out here for quite a bit, been on the field for a ton of plays, and really well, the, tough, tough, tough. Played. These guys have been on the field for offense and defense. Yeah, yeah. even when they've not been playing defense, they've still been playing. <laughs> and so for them to just be up here taking lick for lick still. Crump throws it to the outside, gets his man. And running strong, that's number 85 with the catch, Demarcus Peak. Close to a first down. First time we've heard his name tonight. We're getting some depth out here in receiver. Yep. Bring up second down and one. Spreading the ball around, getting some other guys in there. I do. I mean, I, I'm assuming they would eventually get to run in the ball, but I guess if, if you're predicating your offense on throwing it, then you just got to get used to throwing the ball all the time. They give it again. Number 21 <laughs> stays, stays on his feet like a bowling ball down there, staying low to the ground and getting knocked around but yeah. not falling. It's got your that's north and south going. The freshman Spratt, number 21, that's running right there. Yeah, he's got a good uh, center of gravity too, bouncing them. Well, and when they get to the next couple weeks, you know, we talked about Number 35, Antonio Amos is their best player, best running back. Mm -hmm. Might be their best player, um, and he's not playing today. Yeah. So he's going to get the ball a lot when he's in there. There is a flag. flag. I think they're going to call a holding. I don't think he held him. I think he let him go right away. Yeah, he hit him and kind of let him go, and it just <laughs> looked like he held him. <laughs> but they say maybe you could did. probably call holding on every single play in, in football. Yeah. What they should do is make offensive linemen wear gloves that you can't, that don't have fingers on them, right? Yeah, so you can't grab on. You can't grab on anything. They also couldn't grab on the football if they had to dive on it. Maybe that's a good <laughs> thing. Tie the quarterback's shoes together. So first down and 20. They got a, that. They're uh, six, seven, and eight for this team are going to be quite a difficult group to deal with. For I think we have a, a timeout on the field. You want to mention our underwriters for us? There was nothing that pleased me more, sir. Kershaw House of Pizza, Williams Electrical, the City of Lancaster, Founders Federal Credit Union, Emporium, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the Town of Kershaw. Founders Federal Credit Union is headquartered in Lancaster and is the largest credit union in the state of South Carolina. It was established in 1961 and as of June 2023, it has grown to 790 employees and over 250,000 members. Still no change in the Lancaster-Chester game. Lancaster at Chester it is 12 to eight as last we've heard. And York has traveled to Indian Land. Indian Land on top right now, 16 to 14 in the third quarter. Good look from most of the teams in the, the region, or the, the county. Re yep. AJ with a bye this week, or they're idle. They just don't have a game. They, they start the season next week. Yep, still a real possibility that we could end up 3 0 in this first weekend. Yep. First down and 20. Two receivers split either side. Mills goes in motion. They fake it to him and give it to the running back. They're trying to get to the outside. Stiff arms. Fumble, and he fumble. fumbled the ball. Well, they might call him down, it looks like. Is that the first? They're calling him down. Was he down? I don't know if he was. I didn't think that's what you're calling him. Is that the first turnover, if, if it is turnover? It's not a turnover. They called him down. Yeah. But I'm surprised. I figured we would have had one by now. It looked like his knee maybe was down. That's close. It was close. Bang, bang, play. Brings up second down and 18. Pick up a couple. 
Yep. Second down and a long 17. We could call it that if you'd like. Or we'll just say 18. Crump looking to throw. Plenty of time. He's rolling to his left. Stays back in the middle. Gets back out to his left. <laughs> Now throws it. He's got a man out there, Ooh, he and he dived. It? Did he catch it? Nope. Ground <laughs> caught it. I'll give it to him for, for playing playing a tough catch there, number two. Trying to hit Gage, man. Gage, Mahaffey. Mahaffey. He's not too Here's Mahaffey. Another look at that play. Him. He just couldn't quite get his feet underneath him to make this throw. Yeah, Almost 99. all arm rolling to his left. Trying his darndest. Yeah, that's yeah definitely didn't catch it. Bring up third down in long. Oh, another penalty. Illegal procedure been declined. Bring up third down in a long 17. <laughs> yes. Third down 18 for the yellow jacket. Oh, they lied. What do you think here? I think they're going to run it. I think they kind of what they did late in the uh, I mean, third quarter. You're in, two down, your, you're in two down situation here, you so get your everybody thinks you're going to pass. For at least one anyway, don't you? So I think they run it and then go for it on fourth down. Oh, really? I think they want to keep a field goal if they don't get the out. That's the youth there. I, I, I was wrong. I think if he's a year older, he's going to catch that ball. But he get a little nervous about going over the middle. Oh, Peek's a junior. So. But we haven't seen him over the middle as much tonight, so. Yeah, over the middle is tough for it a receiver because you don't want to. You're <laughs> going to get your block well, takes knocked off is what they say, right? Yeah. One big hit and it, it ruins your uh, season. And so. you don't ever see it coming usually because you're coming across the grain. And guys will – I used to get excited when I'd see someone cut across. I'd want a blindside. You're welcome, Lancaster Bruins. Fourth down and 18. Timeout taken. Timeout. I think they're going to try to kick a field goal. Potentially. Potentially see if they Wait, can get no, a deep Wait, no, that's 35. Really, that 45. That'd I mean, be a 52 yarder. I think they're going to punt it. Depends on what you, I guess, what the they're gonna, you have. They're going to punt it. Think so? Yeah. Which is weird, I guess. I don't know why you wouldn't just try from here. They did it last. I guess that was at the end of the quarter, though. You didn't want to go into the half with it. They're about in the same position as yep. they were then. Yeah. And they probably should have punted it then. Yeah, I think so. it just all depends on your kicker and your faith you have in him because it's sort of that weird, like, no man land. Great. But they're not going to. Nope. They're going to go for it. Nope, they're going to go for a field goal. A 52-yarder. No, is that? No, 32. 42-yarder. 42-yarder. 40. 42. 47. 42. It's another 10 yards. Are you 42? That's what I said. Yeah, you're right, 42. <laughs> I just can't see anything. Too blind for this. He might have it. Oh, but I'll bet you what though. That was a great kick, though. Your coach knows that you can almost hit that. Not a bad kick, man. Right in line. Looked like it had just just enough, but it hit that upright. I think if we had a shot from the center of the field, you'd see that it probably veered off to the right there late, cost it some of its distance. But not a bad kick. No, that was a great kick. That was a good stuff. Yeah, and and kudos for coach for letting his uh, kicker yep. take a try at that one. That's probably well. He says, you know, now he knows that's my limit. Mm -hmm. I got 42 one yards. One more yard, you got it. 41, big dog. he's got it. If it's a 41 yarder, it's money. Making it rain from three. So the defense for Buford trots on. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. They give it to the big guy. Number 99, again, he's not running. He's running sideline to sideline. That's not going to get you yeah. many uh, many yards that way. Not with him, anyway. You need to get him north and south and not sideline to sideline. Just let him run straight up the middle. Doing a lot of running sideline to get upfield just a yard or two. Number 
Loss of four on the play. Loss of three on the play brings up second down, 13 for Sparta. Ball sitting on the 17-yard uh, line. That's a low snap, and I think that's recovered by Buford. Someone's fighting for it. Nope. Somehow. Wow. Loss of a couple. Yep. Bring up third down now and 18 or along 17. Davis going to run this one. Good block there. Gets to the outside and maybe picks up a couple. Yep. Got some wheels on him. Bring up fourth down. Give him a little bit of room to breathe, at least for maybe a punt here. Fourth down and 12. Got it back to the 18 yard line. like the Spartans may be going for it. Interesting. Oh, no, there goes the punter. I didn't see the punter <laughs> drop back. The quarterback ran really off the field, and then they send him back, but that's because they don't have enough players to send him off the field. Strange time to pick that play, I guess. Decent punt. Kinda Picked up, and... Again, right up the sideline. If you're 58, you had the tackle there, son. You, 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 you ran right by him. That's why you can't run into a guy. you got to let him run into you. He cost his team about 40 yards there. Do you see any flags? Nope. There is a player I down. A uh -oh. down uh, that might be the number three. That's the big guy. There is a flag down. Oh, I lied. I'm not sure that the Spartans have any extra players. I don't think they do. What do you do in that situation? You play down a man? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Why don't you mention our underwriters here? Right. Big thanks to Kershaw House of Pizza, Williams Electrical, the City of Lancaster, Founders Federal Credit Union, Comporium, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. Big up to Comporium. Find all you need to be connected and entertained. They're always ready to offer you the latest technology and superior customer service with a personal touch. They're invested in the communities they serve, so you're treated like a neighbor and not a number. Like a good neighbor. Learn TV's there. Wow. 129 <laughs> to go here in the third quarter. Still have player down. Um, officials are conversing about, I think, what the penalty was or should be. A little update here. Chester still on top of Lancaster. Last I could tell, 12 to 8. Not sure where that game is in terms of time if they're in the third or fourth quarter. Indian land on top of York at the end of the third quarter, 16 to 14. We're going to give the 50-50 money out. It'll be $218 minus our little fee. At half in the third period, we'll announce the numbers.
they, after the penalty, they marched this ball all the way back to the 45-yard line. Holy crap, that's kind of far. Yeah, I thought the flag was down on the other end of the field, but I maybe was mistaken. I didn't see it down over here. Still concern for the, the player down. We seem to be working out a lake here. It must have been while he was kicking. Someone running to his kicking leg or his planting leg potentially. So the Buford offense, when we uh, resume play here, we'll have it at about the 45-yard line. He's up. That's good. Seems to be walking under his own will, which is good for them, especially if they don't want to be running without a man for long. He's one of their better players, too. Yeah. Might be their best player. So they move that ball all the way back down to the 30. Quite the difference in field First position. Down, Quite the difference. The yard penalty on the play. Whoa. What did they give him the penalty on? Roughing the entire team? <laughs> no, I, I think the... the no, it wasn't a 63-yard penalty. The ball was, I'm sure the penalty was called way back here at where he picked up the ball. Yards. It cost him 63 yeah. yards. That's what I get for listening to the answers. So first and 10, Buford will take over after the punt at the 30-yard line. Spartans do only have 10 players out there right now. And they, Buford runs it. Randolph, he dropped the ball. Did he get How back he on it? Fumbled the ball, that's crazy. Talk about angels in the outfield. 51 with the recovery, Ethan Jaimez. Looks like number three is coming back out there. And I think that's Randolph went down. I think he probably has some leg cramps. And it's not particularly hot. But still, that first game of the year, your muscles aren't used to that. But you'd think <laughs> these are some southern boys used to that southern sure, SEC but it, heat. Under the sun, or under the lights on that field, and when you're running and as much energy as you're giving out on a football game, you, you use a lot of that. See him stretching his legs out mm -hmm. right there. That's definitely cramps. Cramps, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could tell usually by body language when they're yep. just kind of laying there, not moving. One minute to go here in the third quarter. Read one of these uh, underwriters. Lake County Natural Gas Authority gives the highest priority to delivering natural gas supplies at the lowest possible cost to our customers in the most responsible and cost-efficient means possible. Town of Kershaw, the mission of the town of Kershaw mayor and council is to promote the quality of life for the residents of the town of Kershaw in an economical, ethical, and congenial way. Check out their website and Facebook page for upcoming events. Randolph coming off under his own power. I feel like we've been on the last minute and a half of this quarter for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
update in the Bruins game. Lancaster now on top, 16 to 12 over Chester. Let's go, Brew Hands. Crump gets this one. Good job picking it up. Hands off to Spratt. Spratt, again, likes to get to the outside, makes a couple people miss, and dives forward inside the 15, just inside the 15. There's another flag. It's like a block in the back. I mean, that's got to be seventh or eighth holding, blocking penalty on, on the Bru or the Yellow Jackets tonight. Somewhere around there, quite a few. Been quite a few. Illegal block in the back by the Yellow Jackets. Ooh, even worse. Indian land taking a 22 to 14 lead. Big dogs setting up a potential big game up next. Is it next week? Yep. Lancaster Indian land be at there, Indian square. land next week. We will be at the home of the Warriors. Yep. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. First down and 13. Again, Spratt. Running right up the middle. I like their success up the middle than the and outside. And again, trying to get to the outside. That's his default, I guess. <laughs> but he got right about to where he was yeah. before after the penalty. No penalty flags this time. I think you have a tendency to get more block in the back and penalties when you cut to the outside. You change the way, the angle of the run, and all of a sudden you're pulling on shoulder pads instead of. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. So we'll be back with some fourth quarter action. You're watching high school football right here on Learn TV. Hey, Grant, what you doing at the bus depot? I got to go someplace where I can get everything I love. Internet with one gig speeds, a home security system, a whole home DVR with thousands of shows on demand. Wait. All those things that you love, I know people right here who can get you all of it. Internet, TV, security, and phone. Get it all with Compori, your friendly neighborhood tech giant. As you set your financial game plan, we'll be with you every play. Relax, you're with Founders. Hey, I'm Carter Osterhaus from HGTV, here with some tips on heating your home comfortably and responsibly, starting with your heating system. Even on the coldest days, nothing keeps your home warm and cozy like a high-efficiency, Energy Star qualified natural gas furnace. You can actually feel how warm the air is. And that's because a gas furnace delivers air that's up to 25 degrees warmer than the air from a heat pump. And you'll have warmer air inside and cleaner air outside. A legal procedure there to start the fourth quarter. Kicking off the fourth just like we started the third, baby. <laughs> Watching high school football right here on Learn TV. That's week zero for you, though. Got to work all the kinks out. Back him up five again. Two First eight. down and 15. To an absolutely stacked home crowd, by the way. Yep. Crump. Flag oh, already. A couple flags, two or three. As soon as he snapped the ball. Now I know why they throw it 
because every time they try to run the ball, they get a penalty. <laughs> Another illegal block. Illegal shift, the yellow jacket. shift, illegal shift. At least it wasn't a block. Yeah, that's that I one's on had, the coaches. I think they had though. two people moving at the same time. It looked as though they did, yeah. So moving back another five, it's still first down. I guess, you know, silver linings. First down and 20. Crump hands it off. Spratt. Immediately to the side. He side. Cuts back left, we'll right, left, right, right. Picks up 10. I mean, every time he's his his default is just busting it to the right sideline immediately. He didn't even he wait to get the ball. He was already cutting. But I guess, hey, if you get your get your yards out of it, he is right. I mean, I can't I can't can't fault you for that. It's probably an instinctual thing. Got 10 of those penalty yards right back. Yep. Crump takes it, throws it to the outside, and a tackled by immediately. Hit immediately by number six. Be a loss of one, third down. Good heads up play by the DB there to time his tackle because he read that one from a, a few feet away. Brings up third down and 11 from the 20. Got to get down to about the nine for a first down. Definitely looks as though they've sat most of their starters in terms of their skill position guys. Rolling out to the right for Crump. Why don't we got a man out there? Oh, oh. Oh. Trying to fight his way through that. I like the second effort, not going down. That's Caden Peak, number 84. 24. 84. 84? Yeah. Man, I can't see anything. I'm just gonna stop doing this. I'm blind as a bat. Yep, 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 yep. Eight First two. down and goal from the five. Gives it to he's running in. back and he's in. That's Spratt, Zadarius Spratt with the touchdown. Yep, they've been waiting to push that one in there since the second quarter. Deeper's had two, just two, two, two long back. touchdowns called back. Yep. I believe both of them were by the same player, too, if I'm not mistaken, which I probably am wrong because I've been wrong all night. There's no look at the Not the prettiest play call, but it gets the job done. Run by Spratt. The Spartan team is uh, getting tired. Yeah, I don't blame them. All the redos they've had to do as well from penalties. And funnily enough, that's a block. He blocked that with his feet. Yeah, funny enough, I knew that was coming. They've gotten close that's on a couple. No but you'd think that it would be because of their Four. own faults, Zero. having been out on the field more. But it's actually been Buford's yes, penalties that <laughs> have caused them to have to be out there longer. Yeah. So 8.19 to go here in the fourth quarter. 27 to nothing for Buford. Again, we'd like to thank, thank our sponsors, Port Heating and Air, 
A shout out to our sponsors one more time here. Shout out to Founders Federal Credit Union, City of Lancaster, Williams Electrical, Comporium Communication, Kershaw House of Pizza, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority in the town of Kershaw, but especially thanks to Kershaw House of Pizza for sponsoring us tonight. Kershaw House of Pizza is locally owned, full service restaurant in Kershaw since 1988. They have great daily deals for lunch and have updated their menu. For more details, check out their Facebook page. When you're in Kershaw, check out Kershaw House of Pizza. K-Hop. K-Hop your butt in there and buy some pizza. That should be their new their new. No, it should. Motto. You should tell the owner about that. I think you'll love it. See, I speak facts. The director agrees with me. Here's the kick. Good looking kick, taking it about the 15 yard line. Oh, Ooh, got some edge. room. Edge, boo. But you can definitely see the Buford is just much more fresh team. Yeah. At this point. And they got a lot more players. Let me know, Spartans. I'll come suit up for a series. Get knock on my butt. <laughs> Spartans with decent field position. 38 yard line. And they would just love to get some points on the board here, I think. If they could get some points out here and take home a, a victory or a, you know, a loss with that score, I think they would look at it as it in the right direction for sure. Davis looking to throw. He's got a man out there, and oh, overthrows him. He had him, though. Mm -hmm. Yep. He had turned him around, too, threw it over the other shoulder. Kobe Klinovich on the cover. Might give a shout out to my main man, Burgess Funeral Home, as well tonight. See you down there on the sideline, Burgess. Fans don't forget tomorrow starting at 10. Second down and 10. We have the Bearhouse Brawl here. It's going to be nice and cool. Come out for the Yellow Jackets and the Bearhouse Brawl. Davis still in the shotgun. Still got number 99. Big guy back there with him. Two receivers split out to either side. Throws it deep. And still trying. Unfortunately, not able to. Caden Peak, 84 there. Brings up a third down. It's like they've let the clock go now. Davis takes a snap and fumbles it. Picked up by number 99, and he's going to go down. That Big play. loss. Play was a bit like their game tonight, just unable to get things going. Yeah, couldn't quite get a handle on things. Yeah. And I don't think full or running back's his natural position, but boy is out there trying his darndest. To tell you, 99 and three have, have, have made some, some plays out there for that, for this partners. Uh, all these Spartans, you have to admire them a little bit. They've been oh, yeah. playing both ways the entire game. But specifically, not both ways, three ways, way, yeah. three ways. They can't play with three on the field. When he's not on the field, they go ten then. He's the they've had a couple guys go down during this game. Yep. And, and those guys are not playing, so they have 11. And they've got looks to see, what, four guys on the sidelines in jerseys with casts or slings on their own. They're going to run this one. Phillips. 
He doesn't go down. No, he doesn't, and he got close. Flag on the play, number three, shot short. And I wonder what the flags here. If this is a, a face mask or something, it's going to give a first down to the yeah. Spartans. Horse collar. Face mask. They call it horse or, or, collar. What did they say? Horse collar? Yep. Nice. See, that, or, or that's the first down anyway. For if you're the Spartans, that's a first down and potentially trying to get yourself that touchdown that you want to break that donut. If you're Buford, you want nothing more than to go out of here 27 nothing. So that takes Spartans all the way into Buford territory at the 43 yard line. Davis takes a snap, he's looking to throw. Throws it down the middle, that ball's lofted up, it's <laughs> intercepted. And then tackled him there, but a heads up play by 22 to get a pick. 22, Colby Klimzik with the interception. It's one of their freshmen. Good, nice replay there. Yeah, just overthrew him. Trying to find number three at this point, it's kind of easy to beat on him. I think a timeout called. A shout out to our underwriters one more time for tonight's game. Kershaw House of Pizza, Williams Electrical, the City of Lancaster, Founders Federal Credit Union, Comporium, Lancaster County Natural Gas Authority, and the town of Kershaw. The city of Lancaster, welcome to the Red Rose City with emphasis on arts and culture as well as rich history. See, Lancaster is dedicated to creating a destination for those seeking the enjoyment of a small town charm and southern hospitality. See, Lancaster wants to remind you to stop to shop local small businesses and check out their website or their Facebook page for See Lancaster's upcoming events. Looks like York just scored, went for two to try to tie it up and did not get it. So. Indian land still on top, 22 to 20. Oof. Four minutes to go in that game at Indian land. That's a nail biter. And Bruins still on top over Chester, 16 to 12. All right, the Buford offense takes over. This ball at the 40 yard line, for 41, 41 yard line. New quarterback in there, number 12, Luke Mayfield, sophomore quarterback. Spratt takes the handoff of the middle. Spratt runs three. that forward for a gain of about three. They got three QBs listed on the depth chart. Another Spartan down. We've got there number 99. Noah Crump. Luke Mayfield, and then we, we talked about earlier, Colby Klimzik. It's important for a head coach to get a new quarterback prospect every two or so years. Good look at the, uh, the huddle, Buford. One of the Warriors there for the Spartans, number 99. Oh, yeah. Solomon Nijai. And uh, hopefully he's going to be our, hopefully it's just a cramp. It seems as though that's what a lot of them were having to deal with. You know, you said week zero, even though it's not as hot as it usually is this time of year for a game. But still. Still, especially these guys. <laughs> for the Spartans are playing both ways yeah. the entire game. It, it, I mean, that's not an easy that and thing to be able to do. Probably played an extra 20 or 30 snaps than they expected tonight. I think coming into this game, they probably would have expected more running. 
I had not expected so many penalties to yeah. require and replays. The, the penalties have really, I mean, that's the one thing I thought. I think Buford, if they can clean that up, mm -hmm. played an excellent game. I mean, they really had lots of good things, but they've really, I mean, there's been yeah. a lot of penalties, and I know that's something that it's Coach Watson is not going to be happy with. No. And they, they've moved the ball around effectively enough to have scored 40 points tonight. It's just they haven't been, you know, as sharp in other areas. Mayfield back there. Low snap. He fakes it. He's going to keep it himself. Cuts back to the inside and runs over a couple guys. I think he's going to get a first down. And that whole sideline is going ballistic for their guy. <laughs> Lowering his shoulder for a bit. First down, First down and 10 now into Spartan territory. Mayfield gonna keep this one. Mayfield on the still up, still up. And fumble. fumble. I think his progress had been stopped. Yeah, I think they had blown the whistle dead by then. But you still wanna see him hold on to it. Tommy Barr from Minute the 20. Spratt, he's got some running room. Ripped it out, it's fumble, out. fumble, 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 and that looks like a Spartan ball. That is Spartan ball. Covered by number 77, Carter Cook. 54 seconds to go. It'll be Spartan ball. Got our player of the game there, Noah Crump, the quarterback. I think he's played he played an excellent game. He ran when he needed to, really put the ball in the air a lot more than we've seen them do and did a really good job. A couple of those plays got called back, but he, he really uh I thought was the spark of that offense. A lot of got a lot of different people involved. It wasn't so much that he threw for an obscene amount of numbers or touchdowns like they called the two back. But for him, it was about facilitating the game and not making silly mistakes, no turnovers. Yeah. He wasn't making bad play calls behind the line. It just played a well, a great game, and obviously he can evolve from here. So Buford's going to take this one 27 to nothing. As we said, we'll be at Indian Land High School next week to see the Lancaster Bruins take on the Indian Land Warriors, that county rivalry game that should be a really good one. Both those teams up right now. Um, hopefully they both can pull that out. Yeah, but yes. we'll see y'all next Friday night. Our crew tonight. Uh, field operations manager on camera, Quentin Thomas, operations manager directing, Jonathan Stevens, and executive producers, Paul McKenzie, and myself, TJ Armbrust. Thanks for watching high school football right here on Learn TV.